Hello everyone, very good evening. In today's 9th standard English, we are going to learn about the different degrees of comparison. Given three degrees of comparison. One is positive degree of comparison. The next one is comparative. The third one is superlative. So, the more degree of comparison, it is based on it. It is based upon adjective. For this, I need to know what is this adjective. So, from our smaller classes, children are in continuous mass in the grammar portion and adjective. The simple words are so much. It is a word. It is a word. That describes a noun. Noun of a tree, the river is there. At the top, in a tag, all the words are so good. Here, another adjective is used. It is a word that describes a noun. In answer, say it gives. More information describes in our lesson. More information. Who will learn a tongue? No one can be learned. Their soul. Who will learn a tongue? The mother tell you. More information about a noun. For example, I draw this house. How will I tell? It is a house. वो पढ़ता बात है, अंदर पढ़ता बात तो सोगा, ये तो दो रूप ही है। Suppose I write the same sentence like this. It is a beautiful house. When we are walking on the road, we come across a beautiful house. Who will tell your friend, right? I saw a beautiful house while going home. Who will tell like this to your friend? So it is a beautiful house. We are going to be in a park. We are going to be in a park. So, in the sum, it is a word that describes a noun or it gives more information about a noun. So, in the other hand, noun is that it is house, read it. It gives more information about a noun. In the noun, it is a word that 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 is a word. In this word, beautiful is adjective. Okay. Let's see one more example. This is a cat. This is a cat. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But what do I say? This is a fat cat. I don't know. This is a fat cat. I am describing how the cat is looking like. Cat is looking fat. So this word fat is adjective. When it is describing a noun, Give me more information about this noun. What is a noun? A noun is a name of a person, place, animal, or a thing. So 
with the dot, an object or a person, and an animal thing is given in an example. It is called a noun. The number of a thing and a number of a name of a person, the random, the villain, it can be even a bird, animal or bird. It can be a bird or a thing. Or for it. In a person, I have a lot of noun. So, in the noun, the person. அதுக்கு <laughs> So based on this adjective, if at all I have understood the meaning of adjective very well, I can understand, I will be able to understand these three degrees of comparison quite easily. I will be able to understand these three degrees of When the word is describing a noun, it is called as an adjective. So, when quality of one person, one thing and an object, one thing is called as an adjective. That is the positive positive degree of comparison. Now that we have learned the meaning of adjective, we are progressing into degrees of comparison. First, I am going to learn about positive degree of comparison what is this meaning it is used to describe or express a quality positive degree speeds characteristic of the norm norm is what is different than it is going to talk only about one object one person, one animal or a thing. Okay? And it is going to state me or give me a characteristic of it. மார்க்ஸ்மாரான <laughs> So how are my marks? My marks are good. And I am talking only about my marks. I am not telling about anyone. I am just talking about the marks 
it is formed by me in this example. Suppose if I say I score That my friend, you know, a number of it, now you are a mark pointer. You know, I know who will run a mark pointer. I know that I'm a real one in that family. So, I suppose better marks than my friend. House is beautiful. In the reader, I got it. This house is more beautiful than. So I'm comparing the house of the house Chelsea and the house of my friend. In your number or your reader, in your crack, the garnet of the cover of my path and the reader on the opposite path. In the reader, the human alarm, in the number of the reader, the human alarm, more beautiful. So I'm telling. Is more beautiful than that of my friend's house. In your number of years, we in the reader, I have other more beautiful. When I talk about one person, object, or thing. It's positive. When I'm talking about more than two, I'm comparing. Sorry, when I'm talking about two objects or two people or two things, two animals, two birds, it's a comparison exactly between two. Then it is comparative degree of comparison. Only about one is positive. Then it is about two, exactly two. It is comparative in view of comparison. We will see some more examples on positive degree of comparison. No. So we talk about only one now, one quality. One quality is the one that is the I do this week to taste.
April flower. Is a tall structure. The quality of only April flower is green tone. So how is this April flower? It is tall. Quality of unknown. Unknown is equal to. Mango is sweet to taste. Now it is not for that. It is sweet to taste. We are talking only about one fruit. One now. And how it is? It is sweet to taste. Sweet to taste. It is sweet to taste. It is sweet to taste. I can use this positive degree when I say two nouns having same quality. In the noun, and I worry more than you know, I say, I'm not comparing, I'm just saying both the nouns are having same quality. is as strong as Ramesh. Ramini, Ramesh is from the way Malamana, but it's as strong as equal quality, same quality. You know Balasali, you know Balasali, Ramini, Balasali, Ramesh, Balasali. Both of them are strong. It's as strong as Ramesh. Common conjunction on an as would be the word. Okay. And the word strong is in positive form. But all this word is in comparative form, what will be the word stronger? E R real suffix are sake of a token. You have added. These letters stronger we are in the word strong. That's all I have to use comparative degree of comparison. And it is exactly about one person or two nouns having same quality. I will be using positive degree of comparison. Okay. And I am doing the comparison exactly between two. And I tell one is better than the other. I am telling the given sentences in comparative degree of comparison. Now we move on to comparative degree of comparison. It is used when Two things are compared. It can be these two can represent two people, then the number of them, then the total of them, two things or two places. 
சென்னை இஸ் ஹாட்டர் தேன் மதுரை சென்னை வந்து மதுரை விட ரொம்ப வெப்பம் அதிகமாக இருக்கிற ஒரு ஊர் அதை விட இது இல்லை இந்த ஊரில் இன்னும் வெப்பம் அதிகமாக இருக்கு டூ பிளேசஸ் டூ பீப்புள் ஆர் டூ திங்ஸ் ஆர் டூ பிளேசஸ் ஆர் பீஇங் கம்பேர் We will compare it with one adjective. One adjective is not sweet, sweeter. Sweet in the adjective is not E-R in the suffix sum of two letters. The four is not safe in the adjective. Four adjective is not. Compared with one adjective. to show either can be seen to show one has more quality than the other the vida and the inner la vand koodalana oru vishayam irukku plus one or more quality a quantity than the other can be quality or quantity illa vida innonna koodudana eda irukala illati illa onna vida innonna koodudana quality better ah irukum Adjective takes E R E R in the right to write on this The adjective in order Whatever Taller Stronger Sharper Bet Thicker Thinner Bigger fatter in all these words for the adjective fat thick thin and adding er to it adjective takes er to its positive form positive form mark it in er in the right hand side say ka bolte hain And one more that I'm noticing, and you see conjunction than over here. Conjunction. Let's put in it. Two clauses. And taller than my friend. Na yen nandaro na na wire maar ke. Than, abala veda na sirapan na. Abhi kandi yen to tiri vikendir. One is E R. That is, let us E R have been added to my adjective. Apart from that, I am adding this conjunction than besides the adjective. Adjective aan is kapno. Than in the conjunction will be there. In the comparison of your friend. Comparative degree of comparison in our world is that. We see examples, form of sentences. Instead of words, 
ஒரு சென்டென்ஸ் ஃபார்மேட்லி உதாரணமாக பார்த்தோம்னா உங்களுக்கு பெட்டராக போய் வேகமா You know how Suresh is running. He is running fast. So along with this adjective, I am adding ER to it. So when you fast in the bar, you can see that it is positive. ER is the same thing. When I am comparing two things or two people, I am comparing two people over here, right? That is your Suresh is not clear. I am adding ER to this adjective. So, is becoming faster. So what is this adjective? Fast. Fast is nothing but an adjective. And what kind of degree it is over here? Positive. When I am adding ER to this positive degree, it becomes comparative. And one more thing, I am adding this conjunction that After this, comparativity of comparison. The conjunction than is used to connect two classes. Suresh is one class, Rajesh is another class. So this word than is used as a conjunction to connect these two classes. Mango is sweeter than ஒப்பிடப்பட்டது <laughs> So both these fruits are being compared and I come to a conclusion that mango is sweeter than pineapple. So this conjunction that is used over here. We will see set of words, positive and comparative, wherein comparative we are using ER, we will see those kind of words, those set of words. Small. And then using the same word in comparative, I tell it as smaller. Big. Bigger. Tall. Taller. Good one, we are good. Thin. Thinner. 
near, nearer. Thick. These inner words are not the exhaustive list. I have given few words as examples over here. Wherein we are adding er to the positive degree of comparison. Er means take a part of the So now you are knowing any some more words like this, you can let me know. You can write in the chat box and let me know. Not all words will have er after the adjective for this positive degree. There are some words where in positive degree we describe, we give equality. In comparative, we use this word more before this positive degree. For example, what we are going to say over there, two words over here. Useful. I don't use useful over here. What I use? More useful. Every day I need to find food in the market. More useful. Expensive. I don't expensive. This marker pen is more expensive than this ball pen. Ball, ball pen is in the park. Marker pen is more expensive. More expensive. Attending class is more important than watching TV. Importanter, Abdin Solomon. Instead of that word, I'm prefixing it with, I'm prefixing the adjective with this word more. More important, more useful, more expensive. Okay. So in today's class, we learn what is the meaning of adjective. With this adjective meaning, we will be able to understand positive degree and comparative degree. Positive degree is quality of one noun. Or two quality, two nouns having same quality. We can you we will use this positive degree of comparison. When comparison is exactly about two nouns, two people, two places, two words, or two animals, I will tell the given sentence, it is in comparative degree of comparison. It will either end with the letters ER after the adjective, 
So end my session over here. Thank you so much all of you. Andre, Vaikabharadam, Kalikatamayana.